Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The original intention of sanctioning Huawei may be out of security considerations, but China has ignored an important fact, this will only accelerate China's self-research and self-sufficiency of chips and spawn more Chinese technology giants. Faced with the suppression of Huawei by top Western leaders, technology tycoon Bill Gates publicly warned that this move was too stupid. Today, his prediction has turned into a cruel reality. In the era of mobile internet, the chip and semiconductor industries have undoubtedly become the core sectors of competition among various countries. In this field, Chinese companies have long faced a huge gap with their Western counterparts. This gap is reflected in technology research and development, innovation capabilities, and market share. Against the background that the overall growth of the global market is limited and the share of core technologies is relatively stable, one more bite means that other manufacturers have to take one less bite. This is even more obvious in the specific market of China. In order to better consolidate its dominance as a technological power, a few years ago Western forces led by the United States openly launched a technological blockade against Huawei and other Chinese companies. However, despite the heavy blows from the United States, the domestic chip industry has never bowed its head and admitted defeat. Huawei refused to succumb to the blockade and readjusted its business direction. The launch of Mate 60 with Kirin 9000 chip puzzled the US media. The sanctions against Huawei in the past four years have made the blockade lonely. While the US was still confused, Huawei suddenly made a blockbuster official announcement. It took nine months to burn 110.5 billion to develop a quantum chip that is applying for a patent. This is after dual core stacking, superconducting, after the quantum chip patent was exposed, Huawei made another major breakthrough in the field of semiconductor manufacturing. Compared with traditional chips, as the only quantum chip manufactured using microelectronics technology in the world, it is not only almost free from the physical limits of traditional silicon-based chips, but can accelerate calculations up to 1,000 times, and has higher fault tolerance and robustness. More importantly, quantum chips can provide higher security in encrypted communications, which will undoubtedly help avoid the little tricks that high-level officials in a certain country are fond of doing. According to reports, the United States, Europe, Japan and other countries have invested a lot of money and manpower to establish multiple quantum computing research institutions. Transnational technology giants such as Google, IBM, and Microsoft have also joined the competition on the quantum computing track, and Huawei's the patented quantum chip may directly replace traditional silicon-based chips and achieve true core manufacturing that bypasses photolithography machines. In other words, once Huawei's quantum chip technology matures, the photolithography machines that have been cut off overseas may become scrap metal. It is worth noting that in recent years, China's semiconductor industry as a whole has been accelerating the pace of self-sufficiency. In 2022 alone, China's cut orders for US chip imports have reached nearly 84 billion, a year-on-year -year decrease of 14.4%. 28 nanometers lithography machines are domestically produced a groundbreaking breakthrough. Looking overseas, due to the impact of the US Chip Act and the local market environment, many American chip giants, including Qualcomm, have experienced performance shocks one after another, with cumulative losses reaching hundreds of billions. 
In the field of life science and technology, another field that major powers must compete for, the commanding heights of scientific research achievements, such as Wright Key 18,000 once occupied by the West have also been conquered by China one after another. It is understood that such products are derivatives of Nobel Prize winning scientific research results and are at the forefront of overseas biotech development. Prior to this, a number of papers were published in the top international academic journal Science, proving that this core ingredient can empower body cells and make various human body functions have a certain positive regression, which caused a sensation in the academic community. However, European and American countries relied on their first mover advantage and took the lead in launching the first generation product of Wright BitKey 18,000 and raising the price to 20,000 per gram. Only a few rich people in the world can enjoy it. In the face of this technological competition, China is not willing to lag behind. After several years of exploration, universities, such as the Chinese University of Hong Kong and Sichuan University, have optimized the preparation process with a full enzymatic method. The iterative version of Wright BitKey 18000 not only fell by more than 95% in terms of use threshold, moreover, it is purer and has been backed by the sales networks of Kandong and Tmo, reaching hundreds of millions of people in China who are in urgent need of it. A good night's sleep and rosy complexion are common feedbacks. In addition, other industries are gradually catching up. In the battery industry, not only CATL dominates the industry, but there are also many emerging domestic brands that have suddenly emerged and are catching up on the global portable energy storage track. As the initiative gradually falls into the hands of the Chinese, those foreign media who used to clamor to beware of the rise of the Chinese have also chosen to silence themselves. The containment by the United States and Europe did not bring Huawei down, but made it stronger. This is a strong proof of the Chinese people's perseverance, self-reliance, innovation and development. It is conceivable that in the near future, more Chinese companies will appear. The company announced major self-research results to help China gain more international voice.